Well, hello again. Uh, here we are at Roy's Model Railway again, and this is um, Friday the 21st of October. Well, I haven't really done anything since my last video where I did the, uh, the lighting on the uh, carriages with the uh, um, flashing towel lamp. So I've, I've been a bit busy on other things, but I've, uh, I did acquire a new uh, item. Well, it's not new, I've got a... It's a Backman uh, Class 66, which I bought second hand off of eBay, although it, it wasn't that cheap, but then again, it's in perfect order. Well, hang on a minute. Where's the box? I should have got this ready, shouldn't I? Right. Right, so here we are now then. This is the item in question. Right. I hope that's in focus and not on my face. But it's a Class 66 diesel, 66111 EWS. And it says produced exclusively for Olivia's trains. Right. The, the box, the box it came in is, is perfect. Nothing like, like brand new. And the train itself, it's not the loco itself, is in mint condition. It was like it was needed. Anyway, all's fine. It runs well and all that. But I, in the box is all the instructions except for the function this because this is with sound right? this is with sound so there's no it's got the instructions oil in it and all that but no actual function list so the only way to see what the functions were were to put it on click each function and see what happened on <laughs> I've got a list here. So FO, FO function O is directional tail lights. Function 1 sound on and off. Function 2 high horn. Function 3 low horn. Brake releasing. They're all okay. F4 brake releasing. F5. Right. I'm on this. I've got here a list. There's no phone, I've downloaded this, but I can't find actual functions that match 100% to this model. That says function 5, buffer clash, which it was when I turned out it was buffer clash. But at the same time, the cab lights came on both ends with buffer clash. There's no other way to get the cab, cab lights on without using buffer clash, which I thought was a bit silly. So, then F6, it says end towel light, non-driver end on Backman, on, on Backman models. But it's not. F6, F, F6 on this is another buffer clash, another type of buffer clash, different, slightly different sound. F7 end tail light mode driver end, but it's not, it's cab door slam when I use when I do F7 on this, it's cab door. I can't find anything anywhere that matches what actual sounds I do get. And then F9 is a double horn, it says on here dispatch whistle. F10 is the same, flange squirrel. F11 Compressor, well that's that that works, that's compressor. It does have F eleven is compressor. F twelve it says drive hold, which I can't see as it does anything. F thirteen rail clack. F fourteen end cab light. No, it doesn't do that, it's drive hold up. F fifteen end cab light. A, a number two end cab light again is not that it's drive hold down f16 on fade out reduces sound but it actually drive hold off back to normal 
and the F17, 18, 19 might be something to do with the brakes because when you if you stop it, just press the stop button, it kind of screeches to a braking halt. It might be something to do with that. But anyway, I actually sent off. I sent an email to Olivia's trains. So I said, I purchased a second hand Backman Class 66 produced exclusively for Olivia's trains and the, the, with the number. It did not contain the function list and I can't seem to match the functions to the list of ECU V5 from FO, FO to F4 match, F5 buffer clash, but cab lights come on with buffer clash. F6 sounds like buffer sounds. I've turned off sound on F5, but I've found a CV of 307 that by turning that down from what is set at 128 to zero, it turns off the buffer clash, so now F5 is just the cab lights on at each end. That's how it works. But they sent me back this list, which I've made the notes on of how things are different. But they sent this is the list they sent me back. But they said, this is their, their writing, the tail light mod fun function is only available if you paid for and ordered it, or else the tail lights will be on permanently with the headlights. Well, that makes no difference because you've got a little switch here, you can turn the tail light off just by moving that switch. So, <laughs> wasn't really a lot of help getting on to, uh, to them, but they was good enough to answer me pretty quick. But I won't keep pestering them because uh, I'm happy with how it, how it goes, it's just a matter of the job I had to find that CV307 to turn the buffer clash off sound. And if, if you go on to the, uh, <laughs> let me show it on here, if you go on to the ESU website and download their, <laughs> you download their function, this, there's 100 and odd pages in it. 100 and odd pages to read through all these bloody CV settings. But I found on here, it doesn't tell you the function number, it tells you the sound slot number. So it says on here, station amount, announcement number one, it says sound slot seven, but a CV of 307. Well, I had to go through other, this others here. I started at CV283 till I found the sound that actually related. I started off with CV283, it wasn't there. I went 291, it wasn't there, it wasn't 291. And then I got to 307 and found that that turned off the buffer clash. So I only have now, I only have the cab lights come on when I press that. I didn't want the buffer clash coming on just to turn the turn the seat, uh, just to turn the cab lights on. So here we are. It's it's running and it it, it, was, it sounds great. So uh, <laughs> let's turn that off. We'll have a look at it. Right, right. So here she is um, on the track. So um, I'll run through a few of the things on it. So we've got the sound on. So that's that. Now, for these cab lights each end, um, they ca that comes on both ends, the cab light now, but that used, as I say, used to be a buffer clash as well every time them lights come on. So we turn them off. 
We've got the ordinary lights. Now I've turned them off on the trailing end, but they are on the front end. Let's bring that round there. As you can see, but the sound's wrong. But you only get the top light and that light. Now I've been looking again at um, Peter Dixon's, and he did a, a modification, and he gets he gets two lights here and that when it's in. You get a daylight running mode and. Uh, and a, and, a, and a nighttime running low, but for some reason, Backman's nearly all their models come on like that anyway. That's the front lights on. I've turned the back lights off with that switch over there because when it's hooked up, you wouldn't have the back lights on anyway. But if I go in reverse, of course, again, it's not showing the tail lights because I'm in, I've turned it off underneath. Right, so what's next? We've got the horn, which is function two. And you've got another horn, function three. That is a brake, parking brake, I believe. And we've gone done five, so we go to six. Now six is, that's a sort of buffer, that's the buffer clash, as I call it. And then we've got, um, Function 7 is that, door slam. Function 8 is the whistle. Then 9, double whistle. You can't hear 10 now because it's only when it's going. Function 10 is flange squeal, but you have to have the trainers to be running for that. And uh, 11, I'll put it as compressor sound. And then 12 is a little ticking sound. I think that's a Spyrex valve or something. 13, I, I think the train has to be running. I can't remember what that is. Oh, it doesn't do anything. 14, again, revs the in, engine up. 15, revs it down, and 16 puts it back to normal. But nothing after 17 seems to do anything. But if you come to a sudden stop, I'll get it running. There, I've got to set this, uh, set this track point right. Is it a runoff? No, that's all right. Right. So, so if I if I go backwards and then we do, Then I'll stop. Oh, had a bit of a struggle over that point. I haven't got that point set, have I? Right, let's come forward. And I'll press. Right, hear yeah, that breaking sound. Let's break. Now, I don't know whether 16, 17, 18 is something about 50%. Difference in brake, you must say. It's called, it's got something here F17 brake run option, slows loco down 50% quicker, brake 2 slows loco down 65 and F19 85%. F20 a coupler, well, I wouldn't have that because I haven't got any of them couplers. So. Right, so that's all the sounds. As you see, it makes random sounds changes all the time. But what I'll do is I'll hook it up to the uh, and run it round once, and we'll hear how that goes. So let's hook it up to the cover. Take it off of there.
just don't. You, I think I'll turn that uh, a switch off because when you got it in reverse, it doesn't change the red on the front end, does it? Well, anyway, let's go forward. Run it round. We run it round the track. Up top. Oh no! Look <laughs> up again. There we go. We'll see it come round again from here. Well, I've now switched it so the tail lights are on at the back. But as you say, you still, you still only get the uh, the two lights at the front like that. But anyway, let's run him round the track. Well, here we go.
Right, well, that's showing you, showing you running on the track. There was one thing I, I did do, uh, in case someone mentions it. I reset it via function 8, reset the, uh, the CV8 rather, not function 8, to number 8 to return it back to default value. Because when it, when it arrived, it says on the box here, it was uh, set to number 3. DC sound tested, all OK, set to number 3. Um, and so I set it to 18 for, for my own. Is loco number 18 and then after doing all that I thought well I'll try resetting it to see if that uh, alters any of the sound functions and the funny thing is when I put it on the to see what the actual default uh, loco number was after resetting it it come up as 11 now I found that today I thought they all come up as number 3 but it came up as number 11 Anyway, I've now put it back to um, to, fun to to what I had it function eight to, to loco eighteen, um, and uh, it's, all, it's all going very well. I mean, I, I'm I'm happy with it. I bought it off of eBay, but it was it was rails of Sheffield True eBay. What it was, I went on to eBay and put in a search for um, class sixty six with sound. And this came up, and uh, it was showing as £225, which I didn't think was cheap, because I see some cheaper. But then it looked like it was it was pristine condition. And it came from Rose Sheffield, and in the end, they, I got th about £35 off of that, including postage. So I can't remember now the actual figures, but it, it came £35 off of the... They didn't add any postage on. It's got a two twenty five. I've got thirty five. So it come in about hundred ninety pound. But I said it's pristine. It's apart from this though. No, it didn't have the function list in the box. Anyway, looking online, it seems that some of these did go out without the function list in the box. Anyway, I'll leave it at that for now. I hope you've uh, enjoyed my video and. Uh, Don't forget, like and subscribe. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> right, bye for now.